Hello everyone and welcome to Reggie's Corner. So um, it is time for part 7 of our let's play of the Lord of the Rings Lego game and we are about to start story mission 6 Amon Hen and as per usual we are going for the story itself and if possibly a true adventure but before this little video starts we will look at some cutscenes from Lothlorien uh, so if you want to check that out all you have to do is check through the video and then immediately we will start the story mission so let's get to it of a knife. Stray but a little and it will fail to the ruin of all. Huh? Uh, uh. May these cloaks help shield you from unfriendly eyes. And for you, Samwise Gamgee, elven rope made of heathline. Thank you, my lady. Farewell, Frodo Baggins. I give you the light of Erendil. May it be a light for you in dark places when all other lights go out. So here we are, having just left the forest of Lothlorien, and we are paddling for dear life along the river. And we have reached the Argonath. None of us should wander alone. You least of all. I know why you seek solitude. There are other ways, Frodo. Other paths that we might take. I know what you would say. And it would seem like wisdom, but for the warning in my heart. Warning? I ask only for the strength to defend my people. If you would lend me the ring. No. Go! Oh. So here we are in ring mode uh, with Frodo and this particular part of the Amon Hen mission um, contains the sub quest of Getting to the top of Amon Hand without Boromir getting the jump on Frodo. And if you manage to do that, you will get the achievement that is a rare gift. And that achievement is available as a separate video in this very playlist. And even though it looks like it would be possible for Boromir to see Frodo, uh, this part of the mission is actually quite 
user friendly if you will uh, so you can get quite close most of the time without Boromir actually getting the drop on you of you bottom here halflings are good people slightly irritating part uh, in this section is obviously that you have to sneak so you're quite slow and there's nothing you really can do about that And most of this segment is pretty straightforward. And most of the puzzles in this part are straightforward. Like, if you destroy everything, that is usually enough to clear whatever obstacles are in your way. Here you can throw at the statue head uh, and don't worry about throwing at the wrong stuff because as you can see it comes back and we are not there we go uh, when you get that indicator with the um, button in this case I'm using an Xbox controller so it's the blue X button when that is flashing you know that you are close enough to um, throw the stone. That was slightly closer than I would have liked, but it ended up being okay anyway. Here's some extra stash, which is nice. And this is the last area that you have to get through in order to get the achievement in this story mission. And it's called, that is a rare gift. Poor Boromir got a gargoyle in the head, it looked like. Not very nice. And here we have a classic quick time event.
and having cleared the beachhead of all valuables, we press on. We broke the poor birdie's little nest, but it was full of goodies and building material, so um, it was unfortunately something that we had to do. And we can now get the rest of the gang up a level. Four statues are getting absolutely massacred, but it's all for a good cause. And we have the true adventurer, which is very nice. It's also one of the easier ones so far, I have to say. There are plenty of studs on this map, and there aren't very many enemies to deal with as of yet. So that makes it fairly easy. <laughs> we are once again carrying poor Gimli even though he doesn't much like it. Elven acrobatics once again. Timber! Not really sure if they say that in Middle Earth, but we said it now anyway. Here we have Frodo's discarded sword Sting, it looks like. Oh, and that's actually a new type of thing. We haven't seen that before. That Aragorn can use green objects in order to track. And it's time to face off against the fighting Urukai, it seems. And as I said before, when we find a safe statue, we will use it. Uh, oftenmost is a good idea because you get some loot as well, but in this instance, we don't really need it. Still, 
could be nice to save your progress in the unfortunate event that you would actually die against these Urukai. And once again, as in earlier levels, um, the AI is sometimes a little bit mean towards you when they um, switch characters. So you might be stuck on a nasty piece of sword when you start out. But it should be okay. And in order to progress, you have to kill all the enemies, it seems. Oh, and here we need Gimli. Another <laughs> epic dwarf tossing moment. Exactly certain how to get that tasty chest, which we kind of want now that we have. And for some reason they started me off as one of the hobbits. Not exactly the characters you want to be when you are facing off against Lurtz, who is the big bad one of the very first movie. And here we have another checkpoint. That you get a lot of checkpoints. Here we actually... Whoop. So let's see if we can get to be Boromir again, which would be very nice. Are these something we can actually hack apart? Yes, they are. I'm sorry, Mr. Hobbit. <laughs> that was unfortunate. Here we got a little extra.
and we now get to be, for some reason, Boromir with a banana sticking out of his chest. He is once again coming down. Not that it will help him very much. And he's coming down again. And Boromir died before dying. <laughs> And there we have the achievement, let's hunt some orc, and the unlocked free play as per usual. And we got the true adventurer, so we've got the main mission done and the optional mission done, which is true adventurer. And that was the end of the first movie and part one of this game yes that was the end of part seven and also the end of story mission number six Amon Hen and we also finished the very first movie so we got a little bit of end sequence there and Frodo and Sam went off on their own I hope that you fine viewers out there have enjoyed the first part of this let's play and that I will see you again in the following parts and movies. Until then, have the greatest of times and as per usual, game your little souls away. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.